Hello there, and welcome back to Species Spotlight. This week, I wanted to talk about an insect that you'll usually see near still waters zipping by you, the green darner dragonfly. Green darners are a larger species of dragonflies that are found throughout North America. They are almost always found in riparian zones or areas along waterways and bodies of surface water. Green darners have beautiful colorations with a green thorax, a bright blue abdomen, and clear veiny wings with a yellowish tint. Females are usually less vibrant with a browner abdomen. In general, green darners can reach a size of three inches long with a wingspan of four and a half inches. Green darners have a unique life cycle with their nymph stages living underwater. Darners can spend several years in their nymph stage, where they look nothing like their adult form. As larvae, they feed on fish eggs, tadpoles, and other small aquatic animals that they can catch. As adults, they will eat mosquitoes, flies, midges, wasps, and other flying insects, helping to control the population sizes of insects that many people consider pests. The green darner nymphs can live for two to three years. During that time, the nymph will go through 11 to 12 larval stages before metamorphosing into a dragonfly. When ready, the nymph emerges from the water, holds onto aquatic vegetation, and will molt out of its exoskeleton as a winged adult. Once they are adults, they are able to reproduce. Pairs usually oviposit in tandem, which is a unique behavior among North American darners. Females will slightly bend their abdomens over water and insert an egg, one at a time, into the stem of an underwater plant. Other interesting adaptations that green darners have include their large compound eyes. When you notice a dragonfly's head, their eyes make up a good portion of it, giving them nearly a 360 degree range of vision. Most of the green darner's brain is dedicated to processing and responding to what they see. Thanks to their awesome vision, dragonflies catch more than 95% of the prey they target, making them the most accurate and deadly hunter. Even with this amazing vision, they can sometimes be food themselves. Although the pictures don't show, Green darners are normally observed flying back and forth in a small territory that they patrol. They are also a dragonfly species that will migrate as the seasons change. Throughout Burlington County, you can see them from April through September. Just like monarch butterflies, this migration is a multi-generational affair. The dragonflies that journey south will not be the ones that come back north next spring. If you want to see green darners patrolling areas and catching prey, some great spots throughout the park system include Longbridge Park, Amico Island, and Willingboro Lakes. Thanks for tuning in to this week's Species Spotlight.